Cobb County is about to enter what we call limited operational services status, which means many of the folks who work here at the 100 Cherokee building in all the county facilities across Cobb County will likely be working from home. The county government will still be open, services will still continue, but in a somewhat limited capacity because of the situation with COVID-19. Our COVID-19 task force continued to meet, although this time with only a few of us in the room, most by teleconference, and will continue to meet until we can fully reopen county government once again. Speaking of teleconferences, our public safety folks were down the street meeting with a coalition of groups again via a teleconference concerning the homeless situation, homeless centers throughout the Cobb County, and those underprivileged segments of our society who may need help during this crisis. Cobb Link buses are running their regular schedules all across Cobb County, but in a nod back to the gas stations of the 1950s, whenever these buses come in to fuel up, they get a complete wipe down. Any place inside where passengers or crew members might touch, they're scrubbing it down to keep the sanitation levels as high as possible. We take the cleaner and spray it all down. As you can see here, we spray every um, piece of equipment, metal, whatever you want that someone's going to touch uh, to disinfect as much as possible the seats. We cover the seats um, and even the railings up here. Uh, we do the pull cords and once I go up and down this, usually somebody will come on here, double check everything and we shut the doors and it sits the entire night uh, to disinfect everything. Cobb and Douglas public health officials are putting the final touches on what will be a drive through testing facility here at Jim R. Miller Park. Now, this is not a facility to test the general public. It will concentrate on first responders, those in the healthcare industry or places like nursing homes that are referred to public health through a doctor. Public health will then provide them a voucher to come here to get tested.